All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Chronicles. Time for episode two. So this time around, we're playing as Ryan. Uh, just kind of show off uh, kind of the different playstyles. So Ryan, he focuses on getting aggro. So he wants to be attacked. You want to get Ryan in the front, so he is targeted by enemies, uh, keep Shulk safe, Ryan's got a lot of health, a lot of defense, so he stays alive. Uh, a lot of Ryan's stuff kind of, it gives him, so the, no, nope, can't think of it, <laughs> get in battle, um, maybe hopefully they've had a longer battle, so Ryan's different things here, so his green art here deals topple. We need first we need uh Shulk to get a break off, which he probably won't. Given that Shulk's not all that great. Uh, Ryan also has an orange art there, it gives him an aura. We'll get into that eventually. Uh, although, really right now, most of these enemies are very weak. We don't need a lot of work. We can kill most of them within two or three auto attacks. And they're down. I can see, actually see there, we actually got an AoE attack to hit both of them. So we did damage to the other one. We need... Oh, hey! Shield got a top. I got a break, so we can do a topple, which... Uh, we can't really get a lot, and since the enemy died, we don't really get to fully see the effects of that. Yeah, but for right now, really, all those... All these kind of basic attacks, really all we have to do. Later in the game, there's a lot more strategy you can put together, but for now, we kind of just hit things. You see, uh, Shulk has aggro there, so we're actually going to use our art there to try to draw the aggro. And there we go. Okay, there we go. So we got uh, the Monster Quest 3 completed, which means we can kind of lay off on the fights. So we don't have to constantly be battling because it does kind of take up a lot of time. Okay, still can't. Oh, there we go. Uh, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of stuff up here. What? Oh, it's just more. Ah, uh, it's Arachnos this time. Okay. Uh, put some stuff in the Collectopedia. Fight these guys. Uh. Yeah, let's just go. Yeah, we got good. Piece of cake. Let's 
Uh, and notice a lot of these early fights basically boil down to just spamming arts a lot. And that's because we don't really have a lot to do. Uh, we just kind of hit the enemy until the fight's over. Uh, and so there, for completing um, a segment of the Collectopedia, we got an award, we got a gem, we can't, I don't think we can use those yet, so for right now it's kind of not very important. Later we'll find more use for those. You forgot something? You will be needing the transport cases, right? Fiora! <gasps> I'm coming along as well. I'd feel better going with you boys than sitting at home worrying about you. So, let's get moving. <sighs> I knew she didn't trust me. Looks like it. All right, so now Fiora's back on our team. Um. So we're actually going to switch over to use Fiora because uh, I don't really particularly like playing as Ryan, and I think the AI does a fairly decent job anyway, so I'm going to take Fiora over. So we're going to upgrade her uh, break art there because it's, getting topple is very useful uh, since we're going to be going into an area uh, where the enemies are a little bit stronger. And then that tutorial teaching us about chain attacks will go more into those when we need them right now they're really not going to be all that helpful uh we're also going to get the monster quests for the upcoming area yes there we go Yeah, so here we're going to get ta talking about how monsters, um, different monsters will have different effects, so not all of them are just going to see us and attack us. Um, this area also is its own area in the Collectopedia, so you can see we have uh, a few more things here to get than we did back in Colony 9, so we have some more things we can get a hold of.
help me protect Shulk. Uh, okay, actually, I think I just reminded that. We should show this off. Um, these are skill trees. We can't uh, use skill links yet. We don't have tutorials, but for now, I'm just going to show off. Uh, these skill trees here, uh, each character has different sets of skills with three different trees on base. You can actually get uh, a fourth and fifth by completing side quests and fighting certain special enemies later. But for right now, we're pretty much stuck with each three. So, uh, Fiora right now, it uh, doesn't really matter. We're just going to go with Courage. doesn't really help. Uh, Shulk, I have Integrity because some of these, uh, specifically the successfully completed quests, uh, boosting experience is really good to get pretty much right away. Uh, although, pretty much right after we get this, we're going to be heading over into here uh, to get some bonuses from this. Uh, and then go over here. So Shulk's not really going to be completing a tree at a time. Ryan's just going to go to the bottom here because this is really good. Uh, it's a really awesome ability for Ryan. Um, and it's also pretty decent uh, for a character we'll get later. So they can... Because they'll be able to replace Ryan and kind of serve the same purpose. Uh, it would just be a lot better. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Ryan. Uh, if you couldn't tell. Uh, also, Ryan, he got a new art at some point. A uh, war swing here. It's pretty much nothing special. It's just a. Uh, it's an AOE. Fight you into a fight. These enemies right here. Uh, see you there, so we did it a little bit earlier too. We were able to break them and then Ryan toppled them and we followed up with days. This uh, is a full combo and it's really pretty pretty good. You'll find most of the time uh, dazing isn't really all that necessary. If you can just break and topple everything, you're going to be doing amazing. Ah, uh, that's not good. We're going to run... No, I think we're okay. This is a unique enemy. They're very strong. Uh, I'm just going to tell us about chain attacks. We're actually going to do this so we can uh, get some boosted damage, but also kind of get some of our attacks in here and hopefully use our AoEs to take care of the enemies that are coming in at us. And then right here, if yours kind of low, we're going to hope that uh, Shulk can use Light Heal. Uh, as you see, we've drawn the aggro from these weaker enemies. We're going to try to get their attention. Shulk's going to heal us up. We're not doing great. We really aren't supposed to be doing this. In fact, I'm going to get the heck out of here because we're going to lose. And we did. <laughs> uh, there we go. You can write that down. There's the first death was forgetting where a unique monster was. Yeah, and this is just going to tell us about what happens if we everybody falls in the battle. Uh, and it gives a little tutorial about making ourselves a little stronger. Uh... Which, I don't think, do we have equipment that we could use? Oh, actually, we can give Fiora strength up there. Uh, and then, oh, uh, we have some. Nothing really that will, that's really worth the work. Uh, that gem is just a little passive buff, make Fiora stronger. I am going to uh, probably cut out the rest of this little jaunt. I was like, I think I thought this is A, but I'm not, I'm not sure I have much to do about this. So there's another uh, unique monster there. This one looks a lot more 
intimidating with surrounded by a bunch of enemies instead of just the two. Like last time, uh, here we go, there's some more brogs and we're already at our objective, so I'm... Never mind, I'm not gonna cut this out. This took, uh, less time than I thought it would. Oh, uh, we'll fight these two brogs here and we'll be able to move on. Are these the Magmel ruins? Haven't you been here before? Nope. The Defense Force often uses it for training, but I come here to do research. It's not really a place that people go. Not surprising. There are monsters around here that use Mechon parts as armor. Was this built by the Mechon? I don't think so. There's a path for people to get in. It might have been a vehicle of some kind. Like the Defense Force hover transports. A vehicle? But it's so big. It's amazing technology. I wonder what kind of people made it. I ain't got a clue. Let's keep moving. The ether cylinders are up ahead. Right. Uh, this is just more stuff about skip travel. It's pretty basic. It's nothing different than most other games skip travel you just open up the menu and you go Alright, so here we're gonna do something a little a little risky. This is gonna be a little a little special. We have a lot of enemies in this area who are pretty much all gonna start aggroing. Which is why we have our new art. This art inflicts bleed, which will do damage over time. So uh, against stronger enemies it's pretty helpful to just kind of inflict bleed and then you can kinda of switch over to a different enemy that has a little bit more health, a little more scary. Although that's not very helpful in the chain attacks. Shulk, though, he did just get the Art Stream Edge, which is another AoE attack. Kind of like the stuff Ryan has. Uh, his can inflict Break, though, which is really helpful. Because it can help you uh, inflict Break on different... Uh, on a whole area of enemies, you can get Topple. Up on all of them, it's really useful. And then here we have... A unique monster again. This one's all on their own, so we should hopefully be able to handle this one relatively easily. Uh, Ryan can just keep drawing aggro. Right, yeah! Right, so 
Yeah, so I'm not really uh, getting a lot of efficiency out of my chain attacks. I'm kind of just trying to uh, take use of the uh, the slowdown and the enemies not being unable to attack to kind of get out some uh, arts that may, the AI isn't very helpful with. And we did die again. Um, <laughs> so we're going to get another uh, mildly sarcastic tutorial from the video game. I'm going to feel a little silly. We're going to get, yep. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, no worries, though. Uh, in the early game, you're not very strong. Most of these enemies really don't matter in the long run. And yeah, that guy was... He's just right over there. We'll just be right back in the area. and We'll just ignore him this time. We just kind of got unlucky with the aggro. That should not happen this time around. So we're just gonna walk away. There we go. So now really only these kind of weaker enemies are here. We will fight them for the experience. Oh, they ran away. Never mind. Right here. Thanks for the help, Shulk. I'll start collecting them up. You two hold on a sec. It's full of ether cylinders. Hey, why do we have to come all the way here to get them? Isn't there an ether cylinder fueling station in the colony? Well, refining the ether takes a long time down there, and sometimes cylinderization fails. And there are so many cylinders here for us already. It's more reliable than making them ourselves. Right. And Colony 9's anti-air batteries and mobile artillery are standardized for these cylinders, so they can be used straight away. I see. You know, this place is in good condition considering it's ancient. It might be that there's some form of technology being used to preserve it. It's just a shame we don't understand its secret. Shulk? But I'll solve it one day and show you. If it's just technology that someone created in the past, it's not incomprehensible. We'll come to understand it one day. Don't go trying too hard. We can come and get ether cylinders whenever we need them. Besides, it's a good place for defense force training. Yeah, so good that you didn't even want to come here without Shulk to back you up. Anyway, did you collect the cylinders? Yep, all done. Thanks. Just come by yourself from now on. Shh, be quiet. <sighs> Are they Mekon? I don't know. But it looks like we'll have to destroy them. In that case, just leave them to me. All right, here we go, our first uh, proper fight with uh, fairly scary enemies. The ancient machines here, they've got a lot of stuff. So what we're going to do here, we're going to uh, change our tactics here to make sure uh, our team is focusing on the same enemy as me, that way we can uh, just burn down one because it's always better to just worry about one enemy at a time. If you have your team focusing on a bunch of different things, things can get kind of messed up, and you can, and you can, oh, you actually end up having both enemies get a uh, lower health, or they'll end up using stronger attacks, and you don't really want that happening at the same time with multiple enemies, because then you have two enemies doing strong attacks. There, we took out the first one, and then we can move on to the second one. Let's 
Fiora, are you okay? I'm fine. How about you? I'm all right. Thanks to you and Ryan. What on Bionis were those? I've never seen anything like them. Could they have been Mekon? No. I think they were something left by the civilization that built this vehicle. They didn't seem like Mekon to me. But why did they only show up now? I don't know. But they were probably built to protect this place. They might have been activated in response to something. But I don't think that something could have been us. Please, let's go back. I don't want to be here anymore. Me neither. And we've already got the ether cylinders. Huh? What's going on? Listen! What is that? That sound. <sighs> In the sky! Oh! Oh! It's a... This can't be! No way! Macon! How? Didn't my brother destroy them all a year ago? Could that defense mechanism have responded to the Macon? Let's get back to the colony! Come on!